Hey, what's going on, guys? Chris Ramirez here. And before I get into this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And after you subscribe to the channel, tick that bell icon. I'm going to go ahead and give you a few seconds to go ahead and do that right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Like the video. It helps the channel grow tremendously. And to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay? Now that you've shown your support, thanks. It really helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get into the content. So I'm going to go ahead and open FL Studio. Hopefully it doesn't load up like it did last time. Just like the third take of me getting this content to you guys. It's a dual screen. That's why you don't see it starting up on this screen. I got the two screens going on. Okay, now when you open up FL Studio, you see the blank, the blank canvas. Okay, to, to dive right in, you want to go straight to the sampler. I know I could give you further detail of this, but you, I'm assuming that you are just show me type of person like you're a hands-on show me type of person so let's let's build a beat together we're gonna we're gonna cook up a simple beat with what they have okay so we got the clap already you press on the keyboard when you click on it first off let me explain some things to you right here right when the program opens you start with these pieces these are the, the first beginning pieces of the puzzle you're about to put together of, of your beat Okay, you, it's building blocks. It was, this is the canvas, and these are all the building blocks for the canvas, okay? Now, we're in pattern mode right now. Let me show you. You got pattern mode right here. Pattern mode right here. And you got song mode right here. Song mode is the entire playlist playing the arrangement that you build up per pattern. Okay, understand? Per pattern. Okay, so we want to build in... We want to build in pattern mode first, okay? And you could start simple. We're going to start. We're going to start simple. We're going to be in pattern mode, and you can see it even says it right here: pattern one. And we're in pattern mode, so you're in pattern one and in pattern mode. So what you do next, since you're hands-on type of person, you click here. You go to this icon. You click on this icon. You can press spacebar, and you notice nothing's going on. Nothing's going on. Okay, this is the pattern mode. Now, you could draw out a beat right here. There's a few ways to do it on FL. You could draw out a beat right here, or you can put it in song mode while it's in pattern. I mean, excuse me, put it in song mode while you're in pattern one, is what I meant to say. Hold on, let's see what that is. Sometimes we have sales come in. Okay, maybe not. All right, well, anyhow. Um, sorry about that. All right, where was we? Okay, so like I said before, another way to do it is you go in song mode and you can make sure you're on this brush right here, the pencil, click on the pencil, and you just make sure you're on line. You're going to be playing with this a lot, line, sixth step, fourth step, third step, second step, but keep it on line. Make sure it's on line, and then you see the pencil, and you just, at the very beginning, you just draw in a little bit. And you can either build through the step sequencer or the or the piano roll, okay? So we're already in, it's already going to loop this part while we're in uh, song mode, okay? So we can just start kind of working our magic right now by going to this icon. And when I press the button, it's going to keep looping like that, okay? That's in song mode. Pattern mode, you, you could have it, it could be gone and, and you can build a pattern up, but then you have to paint it into the canvas, if that makes sense, with the pencil, with the pencil icon. Okay, when you put it into song mode. All right. Now, while it's in song mode, let's go ahead and start playing around. And while we're in pattern one, which is right here, this is pattern one. Okay. We got the clap right here. Now, automatically, it's at 130 BPM. You can change it. All that. Um, now let's let's think in terms of okay, what kind of beat do you want to make? Let me give you some value before we dive in. All right, you're like okay, I want to make a whatever type beat. And if you know how the beat sounds and you can rap the lyrics, here's a technique so you could find the tempo. You go here before I dive in to where you build a beat. You go into tempo. Huge valuable tip. Right click, go to tap. And you do the four by you do the four by four motion tempo of the beat you're listening to by tapping on the left click on your of your mouse. 
So whatever the beat is, you could be like, you'd be like, that, that man, what's that song that goes? You know what I mean? Or let's think of a smooth criminal for Michael Jackson. I, I mean, I'm not going to use any samples from them because it'll ding the channel with copyright strikes. But I'm trying to give you an idea. Okay, you want to make a certain type of beat. So let's tap out this melody you hear in your head. You'd be like, the if I usually start with the melody. Me, I usually start with the melody, man. I'm like, dun, 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 like simple melodies, just little simple melodies. So what you do is you you tap it out. You're like, so it's about 140 the idea i'm having now we 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 were right here i usually start with the melody so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to this icon right here we're already in pattern 1 which is right here and i usually like to go to where it says all click unsorted i click unsorted now let's get some samples okay so there's a little drag like you go to the far left of the screen there'll be a little drag wheel just go ahead and open that up and you want to go to the database you, you just scroll around and see what they got let's see uh i think they have some pre-built here we go controllers i know it's here we go you see this icon right here all click on that and just you can go through the packs we got drums uh, flex, in, uh, instruments. I love brass. I love brass. I know you guys probably do too. I love putting phasers on black uh, uh, with the brass and all that good stuff. I love the orchestra sounds. I'm I will be I am quite impressed with the orchestra sounds that FL Studio 20, the newest version, has in it. You know, um, it's really awesome. I love it. Uh, let's go to the brass selection, and we're going to start the uh, melody. So what I'll do is I'll left-click while holding left-click, drag it in, go like this. All right, now we already established that it's about 137, 140 BPM, the idea I have. So I got that, and this is what it sounds like. Now, that's that sounds pretty good to me. So what I'll do is, let me X that out. Um, usually what I'll do next is like, this is FL's 20, uh, FL Studio 20, by the way. So they made it easier where you can put it in its first mixer track. So I'll put it in mixer track one. You just hold and just move the mouse. You hold left click and move the, move the mouse or scroll wheel or hold left click on the, the keypad and, and move the other finger using two fingers. Gesture on the keypad of a, of a laptop or, you know, it's better to have a mouse with a scroll wheel. I, I don't have one. I'm always using the pad. But they got people that do it with the pad as well. It could be done either or. Okay. But anyhow. So I already made this in Mixer Track 1. You want to make the habit of these steps. These steps. Okay. And then that way you know you can go back into the mixer and then mix it accordingly. And you know you got 10 slots open for effects you, for you to add. Okay. So we got it in Mixer 1. Now let's start with the melody. Now that we're all, already know we're in song mode, and we're in the canvas mode right here. We're, this is the button for the canvas mode. When you click it, it disappears. When you click it again, left click, it comes back. We want to go to the piano roll. So we on we already know we're on pattern one. So we click on this. This is the piano roll. Now remember the 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 melody was like so we so we got to find that note so it's like dun, that oh oh beginner's luck beginner's luck <laughs> i love catching stuff like that there it is you see that you see right there now you do take it while we're in the pencil icon now where was it Ooh, <laughs> beginner's luck now let's it's already in four by four times so all we do is just drag it out and then you hit the, the space bar now we know it goes dun, dun so that means we got to bring it back some. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun, dun. That's it. That's it. So you click on it and you drag it out and go like that, like dun, 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 It's like dun, 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 dun. And so you go like this. And you just keep press, keeps pressing spacebar and listen to the playback. You go, dun, dun. So that has to go longer. It didn't sound like how I wanted to. Hold on, let me X that out. Um, let me put on the uh the uh, metronome. Here's the metronome to help you out. It's like dun, dun. all right. So this obviously needs to go further. This is probably up to here. Dun, 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 dun. It may be right. All right. So it sounds like it goes right here. To erase, by the way, while you're in the pencil, you right click. And you see how when I hover, hover over, it does like those little two arrows. Well, I'm on a mouse pad, so I'm double. I double click, wait for it to catch, then I slide it over. I think it's right here. So it's like. So it's too long, so we probably gotta go right here. So it sounds like it goes right here. You just gotta listen to the playback, guys. Like da 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 da. So right there. Da. All right, so that didn't sound correct. So you keep going down the scroll. Da, 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 da. There it is. Da, da, da. And then you just you just listen to the playback, guys. Da. And you're like da 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. It's like dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. It's like dun, 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 dun. It's like lower. It's like lower. Might be right here. Just... Then you go right here. Usually, what I do if I know the next note is as long as this note for the most part, I'll hover over the note and I'll left click like that. And what it does, it registers that note and I'll pencil in over here. So let's see, let's have a listen. And then I know I want this to repeat a few times. So what I'm gonna do is I'm a I'm a left click, I'm a uh, I'm a hold control while holding control, okay, on on the uh, PC, you hold left click down, and when you hold left cl click down, you go like that, okay, and then you let go, you release. Then once you do that, you hover over this right here, and you hold down shift. When you hold shift down, hold left click, click, and slide it over, because we know it's repeating. It's repeating. So. It's probably not that exactly. I think I think we actually have to move this out the way. I think we actually have to uh, bring this part and erase this note right here. So let's start, let's do that. So what I'm gonna do now is to to highlight it all. What I'll do is I'll hold right right click. You hold right click down, and then you hover. Oh, I didn't want to do that. When you accidentally make a mistake, go to go to edit. And go to undo or control Z. And, this, and I'm going to just show you this way. Control, and that way you'll be like, all right, I messed up. Now we're getting somewhere. You want to make the habit of saving often. So what, I, what I'll do is I'll save. You just, go to, you just go to save. And I go to desktop. We're going to put it on desktop. And before, before you save it into this desktop, you want to make a folder. Let me go ahead and show you on the spot. All right, new. We want a new folder. Let it come up. Folder. And we're gonna name this beat test. I'm gonna just put beat test. Keep it, you know. It's gonna be called beat. It'll respond because I'm recording. Okay, what's going on? All right, all right, all right. Please, Lord. <laughs> My computer's struggling. It's struggling. Oh no! I think we've crashed. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> it's like it's struggling. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get flagged but like, get a Mac! Yeah, I'm going to get one soon, guys. I'm, I'm an iPhone guy right now, so I'm eventually going to get a Mac. Okay, we want to rename it. Beat. Beat. Test. Enter. Okay. Beat test. And then you want to save it into that folder. You want to save the FLP into that folder. Save. Okay. Just follow those motions. Okay. Now, what I meant to do is move this over. You hold. You don't hold right click down. We've learned this lesson. He erases the notes. I made a mistake there. Now we know. You can see you're making mistakes with me. I'm rusty, and I'm still able to create pretty decent beats. You know, I think at least, you know, although I'm not actively actively making beats, um, you know, but that's a different story for another video. That's why you've described. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and continue where we left off. We want to go ahead and I think it's, I think it's, uh, I want to highlight all of them. So I think it's control, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, guys. What I meant to say is hold control while holding control because I'll show you how rusty I am. Hold control and left click. Now highlight it. And then you can just move the notes over like that. Just go like that. And to get it to where it doesn't have it, like it's highlighted no more, what I'll do is I'll click out in the empty. What I, don't click out into empty space. I'll I'll go out into empty space, hold control, then I'll just left click, and it's it unhighlights it. That's that's what I do. There are faster ways, guys. I know this is gonna I'm gonna be probably devoured by the more advanced guys. That and I want y'all to leave comments, guys, because I want to I want to do podcasts with a lot of you guys. Okay, so let's listen to the playback. Uh, interviews a minute. Let's listen to the playback. So we need it one more time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold control while holding control. Hold down left click. Hover. Then after that, go over the note. Hold shift while holding shift. Move that over one more time and we'll see what happens. We'll listen to the play. Playback. And, and hold on. And remember how I said you uh, on this part? To get it unhighlighted, just hold control and left click and it unhighlights it. That's how I do it, with the keypad at least. It looks like this note is, is uh, needs to be shortened down, so I'm going to go ahead and hover and shorten that down. Okay, mm -hmm. and then to save it quickly, the speed keys is hold control while holding control, press S, and it saves it. Okay, now we didn't save, uh, we didn't save into that. Okay, I have it untitled, my bad guys. We're already in the beat test folder. I'm so freaking new. I'm like rusty, but I know how to do this. All right, I know how to make a beat. All right. Um. But anyhow, let's name. I'm gonna name it test beat. So there's many ways to do this. Test beat. I just what I meant to say in the beginning of the video is just to create the folder first, then navigate to it when you go to save it. All right. So this is gonna be test beat. I'm gonna have to erase untitled. My bad, guys. Let's let's do the playback. So that sounds good to me. And I always usually start with the melody, guys. So remember what I said. You tap out the beat by uh, by whatever type beat you want to build similarly to. To find the tempo, you right-click over the tempo. You click tap. You click over this. And you just hit the left-click to the tempo, like whatever that is. It's like pop, 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 pop. And it averages out the tempo of that track, that, sh that hip-hop track or whatever track you're trying to um, uh, get close to, all right? And the, this is how you go about doing it. Now do we know we got this pattern right here, and it's in Mixer Track 1. See? It's going through as Mixer Track 1. Okay, we got that. Save often. Always save often, guys. And if you make a mistake, don't freak out. Don't hit save. Always go to edit and undo or hit control while holding control Z to undo a mistake. Okay, so now we can X out this first little pattern. Now that we got this pattern, you want to go into pattern 2. So you can go right here. Click on the pattern. Uh, you, you you can make. I think you have, I'm trying to think how you do this. Um, because this is the new version, pattern one. No, 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 no. Okay, I think. Let me pause the video and figure this out for you guys. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, guys. I had to pause the video right quick because it's like it goes to show you how rusty I am. All right, but I'm showing you like you know something basic. It's real ba It's advanced and basic, and it's like newbie and advanced at the same time. And the amount of time you're spending with me right now, okay? All right, so now let me go ahead and undo what I just did so you know. So you know. Okay, I don't know what just happened. Make sure, make sure I didn't mess it up. Okay, okay, so it sounds good to me. 
All right, so what we do next is <clears throat> um, we have to get into pattern two. So I'll create a pattern two. I, I already created it, but I, I tried undoing it, but it was saying was undoing knobs and stuff, and I don't want, I don't want that to mess up this tutorial. Okay, guys? To, to create a pattern, to get to the next pattern, we're already in pattern two, but I'm going to show you how. You go over here, and you go to pattern, and you go to... Uh, you hover right here, hover over here, and you find first empty click, or you hit, or you can do the speed key, shift, while holding shift, hit F4, and it'll do it fast for you. We're going to do the speed key way, because I did it that way for the pattern, um, for pattern two, I did it that way. It said shift and F4, let's do that, shift, F4. Let's see, did it do it? Did it work? Hold on, I don't know, I don't know if it worked. Hold con oh, I'm sorry, con I, held, I held shift down. Was it shift and F4, or was it control F4? I think it was control F4. Control F4. Was it shift? Interesting. That's weird. I don't know if I'm having technical difficulties or not. But anyhow, this is how you do it. This is how you do it this way. Okay. Find first empty and then it'll it should do it. Which is this one. This one's empty. Okay, so there it is. You click on you. That's what you do, okay, guys. <laughs> that's what you do. Alright. And uh I'm keeping it authentic, guys. I'm not I'm not leaving the bloopers out. I want y'all to see that I'm I'm rusty and advanced at the same time, if that makes sense. Okay, let's see. You can even name the pattern. I'm gonna just keep it simple. But you can name these patterns. Okay, so now we know in pattern two what I'll do is I'll I'll know that it says it because it says right here, pattern two. Then I'll know, make sure I'm in the pencil. <clears throat> and I'll click right here. <clears throat> and you can use this, you could use this to build the drums out. Or you could use the piano roll to build the drums out. So let's let's do a clap. So we got. So you used to the you used to that. Bah, bah. That's what you used to. Bah, bah. Now you see how it's on pattern mode. See how it's on pattern mode and it didn't play the rest. I want to show you guys this way because I think in honest opinion it's easier. Now that we have it in pattern mode, what you do is while you're in the pencil. You just left click on it, and that makes sure it highlights that pattern that you want to use. Then you left click, left click on the next one, and then you just just duplicate. We're gonna do it a few times. Boom, boom. <clears throat> and then another thing you can do is while holding control, hold control, hold left click, highlight the track while the track's highlighted. Hold shift while holding shift. Hold left click, move it over one. And you can repeat it a few times. You can repeat it for 16 bars and then assort the pattern accordingly. Okay? That's how I like to do it. That way I can get into the arrangement immediately. Like, just just build out three minutes, the typical three minutes, four minutes. Three, three minutes is where you would go and then you just build out and then you sequence it up to where things go away, instruments phase in and phase out and all of them effects to the advanced guys that are probably tuning in. Okay, so let's listen in. Save often, control S. Now you hear I messed up. What I'll do is I'll double I'll click on the pattern itself. Oh wait, now I made a mistake somewhere. Now if you know if you made a mistake, you go to edit and you hit this. Control Z. Okay, so let's let's fix that problem that we're hearing. Alright, so what we the way we do is we uh we can go right here. There's a few ways you can do it. You see how you got the arrow up down right here? You go back to the to pattern one. I hear it's messing up, so I'm going to go to the piano roll and see what's going on. Oh, that's not it. That's a step sequencer. Sorry. See what's going on. See how see how the note's dragging over? So we have to go to that. We have to go to that uh, and find it. So let's go here. I clicked right here. And I, I was in pattern one, and I clicked right there. So now let's click in here, and it should bring us to it. All right, let's hover over that note. Bring it back. Okay, control save, save often every time you fix something, X that out. All right, let me hit the space bar. Okay, so that's what you do. Okay, control save, I always control save. So now we're feeling, let's do the kick they have. Let's actually, I want to see, I want y'all to see how you find the samples you want, okay? You don't have to use the stock. Let's find a different kick. So I'm going to go to this icon, click on it. It's got the wave. All right. 
Yeah, I know you more advanced guys are probably like, do this, do that, chef. Uh, 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 F3, F2, F5, F12. I know, guys. I'm just helping my beginners out. You know, I, I'm about to interview a lot of a lot of the guys anyway. I'm I'm hoping to at least. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll snag a few. Um, ho I'm hoping to get Busy Bone on the podcast. Okay, guys, he's one of the old bone thugs. So throw me a friggin' bone here, man. I'm in multiple niches. But anyhow, let's let's get back to the content. Sorry about the detour. Okay. Um, let's see. So we know that we got this. All right. So we want a kick. All right. So I know I'm in packs. Let me go ahead and backspace the packs. You just don't. You click on it again for it to backspace. And for that to go away, orchestra. We in orchestra. Let's get some. Let's get a kick. You just left click over the the thing to make it like go away. Okay. We got loops. You can play with. I'm just showing you some bass. We want drums. So we want a kick. Let's click on drums. We want to kick and you just click on it and it plays the samples let me see something right quick I think I messed something up because I forgot to put headphones on before I proceed with the uh, video I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the headphones on because I think I'm, I'm I think I'm messing up the uh, recording quality let me see something right quick. Give me one second, guys. All right. I should have did this from jump because I realized that the audio was playing through the microphone and it was probably canceling out the uh, the tutorials training. So let's get back right to what we're doing. I'm probably going to have to edit that huge segment out. And uh, just kind of take the beat apart. Because I realized that it was uh, messing up. So I'm going to have to fix that on the edit. I'm not even going to sweat it. I'm not going to sweat it. Alright, so I'm in pattern mode. I'm in song mode. I'm sorry. I'm in song mode. And I, I prefer to build in song mode. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Now, I probably uh, realized that I messed up first, uh, like the first 27 minutes of this tutorial, but I'm going to keep going, and we're going to go ahead and di dissect backwards. I'm going to recap what I did, okay? I, when I launched the program, I immediately make sure I'm in pattern one, and to create a, a pattern two or a pattern three, okay, I uh, go to edit, and... And not edit, I'm sorry. You go, I go to patterns and I go to find and first empty. Or you can hit shift F4 is what it's saying in here. First find empty. So if I do the next empty, it's going to uh, load in pattern 3. And then and uh, let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. First, let me hear the playback. To see if it, it might not be a total loss. Let me pause this right quick. Oh, I panicked for a minute. I had to pause because I thought the audio was canceling out. But I'm going to keep the headphones on so we can get the best quality captured possible. Kind of lean up. I'm leaning kind of this way because I have the dual screen action going on, guys. All right, and I do apologize for the messy bed. It's my uh, second day off, and I'm, I'm really getting into this tutorial, and I don't want to abandon it. I didn't mess it up too bad. I looked at the playback. All right, so anyhow, um, this is what we got. Oh, make sure we in the... Uh, yeah, what I, what I do is I'll make sure if it doesn't... Spacebar doesn't activate, I'll click in this uh, space right here. Then I'll hit Spacebar. Okay, we got that going on, so I always make the habit. So we want the kick. So let's get to the, let's go ahead and get this to pattern three to create. We got pattern, we got pattern one, we got pattern one right here, pattern two. Let's get pattern three. So go to patterns, find first empty. Excuse me, sorry. Here we go. Find first empty. Now we got pattern three in there. So now let's go to the piano roll. It says we're in pattern three right here. Okay, what's going on? People were texting me and stuff. All right, cool. All right. Well, anyhow, um, yeah. Go. We know we're in pattern three. We want our kick. So we gotta get. We let's find our. Uh, let's find the kick we want to use. If I can get it to. Oh wait, we gotta name the pattern. You can either name the pattern now. I'm not gonna name the pattern right now. But you can name the pattern. I like that one. We're gonna so get that one in the correct one. 
what I'll do is I'll go over here. You see this icon right here? Click that icon. We already know we're in pattern three, so I'm going to go ahead and take this pattern, hold left click, drag it over, right under, brass selection, and go ahead and put it in mixer track two. And control save. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and pencil that in while you're in song mode. Pencil it in. Boom. Control save. All right. And you can go in a piano roll. You can either and or because because it's drums and percussion, like boom, boom, boom. You're trying to keep it simple. If you want to get more complex, you can go in the piano roll. We could do that. But we're gonna I'm gonna uh uh do it how I do it, just so y'all see. Just for like for drums, typically I'll do it this way for drums, and then I'll go in a piano roll to spice it up. Okay, I'll go in a piano roll to spice it up. Okay, so let's first do it this way. We're gonna go ahead in here while we're in pattern three, and this is the sample. You hit the period on your keyboard, that's a sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit space bar. So we got doom. I'm hearing doom, 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 Dun. There we go. Dun. It's like dun. Dun. all right. That's too soon. You just kind of hear it, feel it out. Mm. Too soon. Feel it out. There we go. Dun. 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 All right. And just play with it. You play with it, guys. All right. Just bam, bam. Dun, 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 dun. Now you can keep going, going, and going, but I don't want to make this tutorial any more longer than it is. It's 22, I think, minutes long. No, we 32 minutes long. Okay, so what I'll do, this is why I like to use it in song mode and build out. Because you can just create a few little things and then program it in, in the, in the uh, song mode on the canvas. That way you can just get straight to the point and sequence it out. You build it out, then copy and paste it a few times to make three minutes or more. Or whatever, and then you sequence it out. That's it. It's easy, easy stuff, guys. It's easy. There's more, more layers to the game. Obviously, I, I do definitely highly recommend you subscribe to like Busy Works Beats and people like him big time. Shout out to Busy Works Beats. Um, but anyhow, so now we've got that little bit bid going on. What I'll do is I'll left click over the pattern, make sure it's that pattern. We're already in the pencil icon. You know, if you hold the pencil, it'll uh, it'll like move around like that. But if you hover over and to paint it in like a paintbrush. You go over here to this little paintbrush, click on the paintbrush, and you just boom, 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 fill it in. And to to where to make it to where it's not highlighted anymore, you just go out to empty space, hold control, and while holding control, left click, and it, it stops. Now let's listen, now let's listen to the playback. Remember, control save, save often. Pretty basic. All right, so we got a kick. Now let's go into pattern four. Okay, so let's go into patterns. You can do the speed keys, or you, the uh, you can do it this way as well. Speed keys is uh, shift F four is what it's saying. So we're gonna just do it this way. Now we know we're in pattern four, and we're in song mode still. Okay, now it's asking me if I want to name it. You can name it. Just I'm not gonna name it for just to speed the training up. Okay, and I like to go back to the little pencil icon. There's a scroll wheel to do it and a gesture way to do it. I don't know how to do it. Guys, do share and ha help the community out so they can follow y'all contents as well and follow you, your guys' channels. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it like that. And we're going to go ahead and, and since we're still in percussion, we are looking for an uh, actual like different kind of kick. <coughs> or a bass. A bass of some sort. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. You got the 808s. See, I like to add like the 808s and all. This I'm gonna use a basic 808 because then we could tweak it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit this icon right here. We already know we're in pattern four. I'm gonna drag out this 808. Hold, hold, left click, drag it out under the uh, recent sample you had. Boom. And go to the next pattern. All right. So it looks like we got these right here, but we I don't think we used any of these, so I'm not worried about those being in those tracks. Where these are the ones we're using. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in mixer track three. We can actually delete those 
I'm not going to though, but I'm gonna show you how you could. Let me go ahead and do that so we don't confuse confuse you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over it. Let, right click over it and delete. I'm gonna right click over this one and delete. Okay, what just happened? Something looked like it just it just something took away. Something took away. Let me undo. Okay, there it is. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that because that was a stock. That was a stock. We didn't use a snare. Okay. That's why that's why I messed up. I see how I undid it, huh? I want to delete it. I'm gonna just delete it so I don't confuse you guys. And we, I think we used that clap already. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It already had that in there because it says number two kick right here. Okay. Now we got that in. Let's see. We have three mixer tracks already set. The hi hat's already in here. We have. We're just going to use that stock hi-hat for now, okay? But you could find hi-hats and do it like how I'm showing you, okay? So let's see here. All right, so we got the brass selection. I'm just going to roll with this. Uh, you, you seeing me make mistakes is good to know so that you know not to make that mistake, okay? But you hear the, you hear the, the, the outcome. So we got this bass right here. We got to put this in its own mixer track. Saying it's in mixer track 3 already... So let's let's look at the mixer and see if everything's set. Uh, if everything's uh, triggering. So we only three. We only three mixer tracks deep. So let's go to insert number four. Then we we'll put this in four. That's gonna be a mixer track number four. That way, when we hit it, see it's feeding through mixer track number four. Just like that. Okay, control save often. And like I said, I like to oop, just go ahead and erase that with a right click. And what I like to do is I uh, go to that pattern. Let's go back to that pattern. Hit this button right here. Now that I'm on that part. And what are we what are we hearing? Doom doom. It's like doom 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 doom. So it's like it's like now you now you hear how you can't really hear the kick as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the mixer track. Well, first off, you can actually click on here and it'll tell you what mixer track it's in. So it's in this mixer track. I'm going to go to these little two knobs. Go to that number four. I'm going to turn that up. The way I like to turn up the the set, the samples that, that they give you is I'll go midway in the uh, in the stack. That way I, have, I, can, way I can mess around with different effects. What I'll do is I use the fruity limiter a lot. I might have to take, hold on, let me make this. I gotta move this image out the, the way so I can do this. Okay, let's try this again. Get the fruity limiter. I like to use the fruity limiter. Okay, so let's go ahead and we hear it boom, boom. Let's turn it up some more. We heard it boom, boom. I like, I kinda like how it distorts, it's kinda like creates its own filter. Not too much though, because you you know why it's distorting? Because the kick and the other kick are combining together, and and they're like like making it sound like crunchy. Let's see here. Um, let me go ahead and turn it up some more, and I'm gonna go ahead into the compressor a little bit. Put a threshold on the compressor. A little knee action, knee it down song. Now, mm, it sounds like. Let's see. Okay. Let's do. Um, I'm trying to think how we do this. Uh, there's a way to do this with the way you EQ out where they share their own like frequency ranges. So let's see. Let me go ahead and program it. We'll go ahead and figure that out together. Let me X this out right here. X this out. And extra cell, we'll figure it out together. So we got that going on. Like the to get back to the this uh, thing, I, I like to click into this bar right here. Let's go ahead and uh, make this happen a few times. Make it hit a few times. It's like bam, bam. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's too much. Move it over some. 
Now, you can always zoom in to really get to see what's going on. Zoom in. It's kind of like, yeah, you just grab this little rectangle, kind of do like that. And so now here, you're just like doing that. Just kind of work it in there. Hold on, let me uh, mute out the other uh, kick for now because it's making it distort. Like they're clashing because I got to EQ uh, their home in the um, uh, in the harmonics. Okay, I know I'm speaking Swahili at this point, but I want to go ahead and uh, make this clear to you. Let me go ahead and mute the uh, the kick the way the other one. Let me see. We're gonna listen to the playback. Oh, I meant to go here. The kick here. Let's see. All right, let me go ahead and mute that. And to mute it, you just left click on this. That light turns off, it mutes it. Now we let's go ahead and work on, let's work on that first before we add the kick so we can EQ it correctly. So now we hear that going on. Let's go back to the mixer track. Let me go ahead and find a sweet spot in here. Let me go back to the street limiter, turn the gain down. Oh, yeah, the gain down. If I can. Get it to cooperate. Now to get it sound like trap, let me show you a trick, guys. You go to here, and uh, I like. I, I'm a big fan of trap bass, guys. I really am. I'm a big fan, and I'll go to. It's called. I think it's the Blood Overdrive. Let's see what it does. I put it just below the free limiter. Let's see. So we got that going on. Let's go ahead and Go ahead and uh, go here right quick. Let's finish this uh, little how we want the sound. We click on it so I'm knowing I'm on that pattern. I can hear it sounds like it's turning down somewhere, so let me go in here and uh, see. I don't know. It sounds like in the beginning it's like clicking somewhere, kind of turn, but I'm not really worried about it. Figure that out another time. Um, sometimes FL will, will will bug on you guys. It'll make no sense sometimes when it should be cooperating. Um, so if that happens, restart. Make sure you restart and <laughs> restart the computer. Okay. Um, now, if you're on the Mac, you probably it'd probably be less of an issue. That's why producers love prefer the Mac. Um, but anyhow, let's get let's see what we got here. Okay, it's like boom, 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 like boom. It's like every two it seems. Boom, 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 boom. All right, it's, it's like over here somewhere. Now to get it where it, it doesn't like overlap itself when it plays, I uh, the the bass itself. You can do this with other instruments too, so th so that it doesn't mess with the harmonics. Okay, I know that word is probably over your head. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll go back uh, to this right here. I'll go to that sample. I'll right click over the sample, or not right click. I'm sorry. I left click over the sample, 
and I go to it's it's called cut itself. You got to get it to cut itself. All right, that's right. I'm, I remember now. You right click over it. I'm sorry, and you do where it says cut itself. You click cut itself, and what it does when the next hit of the of the same sample hits, the the one that's playing out doesn't overlap on it and make it mess up and sound not right. So I did that, so it should sound cleaner. Oh, that was me. I hit the key. I accidentally. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I did that. Um, so yeah, you could do it that way, or you can just build it out in here in the piano roll. So that's one way you can do building out your bass. Okay. I'm gonna mute that track, and I'm gonna show you another way we can do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do before I mute it. Before I mute that track, I'm going to show you another way you can do it, okay? So let me, uh, um, I'm just trying to remember how to, oh yeah, that's right. You click here, go here to make unique, and it will make it a, a, a unique track or a unique set of itself. It becomes a, a pattern five now. So now what we do is we move pattern five to the next down spot, and we just click on this one, because and if you click on that, it brings it back to pattern four. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in where I, I borrowed, so I'm borrowing from that sample. It created a new one. We're going to go ahead and mute that and do it. Oh, not that one. I'm sorry. We're going to mute this one by left clicking and not right clicking. When you right click it, it only solos itself. Okay. We're going to build it um, this way instead. We're going to go ahead and build it this way. I want to show you both ways so you know. Okay. So it's like boom, 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 boom. All right. Okay. We got to probably. I probably got to paint it in, like, really paint it in. Let me paint, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. To get it to where it's to the correct one, you always want to, like, left-click on that pattern, and then it'll bring it up. Let me go ahead and kind of drag it out some so we can find out where it's going to go. Uh, this is good. Drag it out to here. And I like to save often. Now, I got this one muted so I can show you this way of building out the drum patterns. Okay? So we got boom, boom, boom. So it's boom, boom. It's like right here, boom. See how it's too soon? Go right here and be like boom 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 remember i remember it being like every four i think it's right here boom. all right it's too far so let's try right here oh and this one it's counting differently boom 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 too soon let's try here And it seems like that was what five steps one two three four yes yeah, five steps so this one's five steps as well in between so let's try that and then we just kind of like five steps remember it was five steps Dun, dun, dun. It's like dun 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 dun. It's like crazy. We can even go like this. That didn't sound right. You just listen to the playback, guys. Looks like this is the last piece right here. I actually like that pretty good. So what you can do also is you could take it, bring it into piano roll, and to do that, you just right click, and say go to piano roll. And when you click on piano roll, it should go to piano roll. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so and now you can play with the notes in here as well. But for the sake of uh like you can make it like go do 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 
the a rule of thumb is to try to keep your your base your base notes in key with the melody keys but i don't want to do that because we're already almost an hour in this training we're just going to just do random ones for now you can even do this right here Like, whatever you want, really. Let's just go ahead and keep it like that. Control save, and then you can X out the piano roll. Um, you can, like, drag, you can even drag the samples out and split them and stuff. But that, like I said, I don't want to explode your brain right now. We're already an hour in. Okay. <laughs> and with that pattern, it actually drew out. It drew out what we wanted right here. So we can take this and just do it like that. Now we got this going on. Okay, we got that going on right there. So next thing we do is we need some hi-hats. So let's go into pattern. Now we have pattern five. I'm not going to use pattern four. I just want to show you that demonstration. You can build drums that way. Um, or you can build it out initially on the uh, step sequencer uh, part, sampler part, where you're just drawing it in and just kind of hearing the playback. You can get more creative when you go on the piano roll, making sure you like playing with line and six step and half step and all that to create those different variants of those like it sounds like it's all beat but it's still on beat kind of like trick that's the ones i like like it'll, it'll change tempo while it's still in tempo if that makes sense <laughs> it's pretty good it's like i just love it i just love it that with the trap bass i just love it um so anyhow um we need some hats so let's go and create another pattern a for a uh, fine first empty or shift f4 and it's going to go into pattern six now we can decide to build this part out the ha hats the same way we could do the hats the same way you know you can just fill them all in there's a fast way to do this and like i don't know what's going on here like oh i'm sorry my bad forgot to name it this spot right here you can you can name it right here like name it here like right there but i'm not going to name it i'm not going to name it for speed sake. I actually would like for you to stay more organized than me, guys. Uh, like I said, one of the main guys I like to follow is uh, Busy Works Beats. He's the he's the man. Like he he knows his stuff. A lot of you guys know your stuff. That's why I'm gonna attempt to try to interview. Hopefully, some of you guys, you know, all that good stuff. Anyhow, um, let's get our hats going. All right. So we got the hats. We already know we're in pattern six now, which is right here. Hats right here. Let's go ahead and fill it in. We can like hold left click and just slide over and it'll be like now you hear how you don't hear it you hear how you don't hear it it's because we're in song mode so let's go ahead and click into this dark spot this bar like gray bar right here and let's paint it in to the playlist while we got the pencil and let's do it a few times actually we can actually go to the paint right here the little paintbrush and you can just be like this with it and be like Now, we forgot to do one thing. I don't see... Oh, wait, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five. Let's take off the metronome now while clicking it off. play with the knobs guys you just play with the knobs that's what we got going on here so i gave you some basic information for you to get to get creative with fl studio that being said okay subscribe to the channel if you got massive value out of the content i hope you laughed with me guys on the flibs and flubs but we finally got this far and this is just how you do it guys it's simple it's simple you know once you get the hang of it of what i showed you you can expand on that knowledge and expand more and expand more there's many other beat makers like Bolo. Shout out to Bolo. Bolo, he's not, he does a lot of beat maker three stuff. Shout out to him. You know, um, but the one, the one at the top I could think of you could follow for sure is Busy Works Beats. Like he's the man. But here we go. This is what we got. All 
All right, guys, well, that's it for today. Hopefully you had enough information with me messing up and learning with you guys So I'm so since I'm so rusty, but I do get the program. You just got to tinker with it. You got to have enough patience to tinker with it and try different things. Get experimental with it. Like, now at this point, it would be me mix. It would, I would copy this like three times, like I showed you before, with the different shift techniques and control techniques. It's about three minutes, and then sequence it out, and then start playing with the mixer and doing automation clips and stuff, and really getting creative. Like, just, it, it, it's it. If you want an artist to get on it, it doesn't have to have many elements. It really doesn't. Like three to four to five elements, really. That's it. And you have to leave space for lyrics. Like, you just have to leave space for the lyrics to breathe. Okay, guys. So that being said, subscribe to the channel. Chris Ramirez out. Love you guys. If you uh, haven't bought your FL Studio link, I mean, excuse me, FL Studio package, you don't need the expensive one. I bought the expensive one. I spent $325 way back, over like 11, 12 years ago, like more well, like 12 and a half years ago, back when version 8, whenever year version 8 was out, I bought it, and I have updates for life, guys. You can buy the cheapest version to get updates for life. I think it's like 100 bucks or something last I checked. Could be wrong. So subscribe to the channel. Tick that bell icon. There's going to be various different things of content. Be on the lookout for some interviews I'm going to be doing, hopefully with some producers, artists, maybe actresses, if I can get in with the right people. You know, it's about networking, guys. Um, I didn't start YouTube for nothing, you know, especially with Facebook and all these social media platforms. It's means of building networks, guys. Hopefully you're building yours. All right, guys. Love you guys. I'm going to end this tutorial. Peace.